Car mods you shouldn't do. Hey guys, judging by the amount of ridiculous and riced up cars on the road, we can conclude that car modding is, in fact, a fine art that requests a sense of balance and taste. It's far too easy to slip up, though, turning your car into a rolling joke worse than the one you started with. If you're watching this video, you're probably not a ricer, but if you are planning to do some mods, here are some that you shouldn't bother with. Resprays Changing the looks of your car often means changing the color, and there are several ways you can do it. Most beginners will think that respraying the whole car is the only way to do it, and to be perfectly honest, this is usually unnecessary. Respraying a vehicle is a very time-consuming job that requires a lot of skill and effort to do. Unless you're restoring a valuable classic car from the ground up, 9 times out of 10, a vinyl wrap is the better choice. Vinyl wraps give you near unlimited possibilities for a fraction of the price of a paint job, and the best part is that you can remove it without any damage. Unless a paint job is done by a pro at a very high cost, it will look good from 10 feet away, fair from 5 feet away, and pretty terrible from a foot, where you'll notice all kinds of stuff like peeling, orange peel, overspray, and even parts that weren't painted. For smaller bits, you can even try Plasti Dip. Huge Spoilers Nothing says I have a fast car than a big chunk of plastic or carbon on the rear of the car. Also, nothing says I have no taste in car tuning better than an overly large aftermarket spoiler, which you've just bolted on the boot lid. The logic of big spoilers can be problematic, since if you've got a fast car, it's likely to already have a spoiler that's factory tested, tastefully designed, and elegantly mounted. If you built the fast car yourself, you only need a big spoiler if you're going to race it. Lip spoilers and small wings can look very good, especially if you know what you want from the spoiler and can adjust it yourself. Setting up the wing is about balancing drag and downforce, depending on your vehicle. Don't listen to people saying you don't need a spoiler if your car is front-wheel drive either, though. Yes, the rear wheels aren't driven, but a well-adjusted wing might help increase rear wheel traction or reduce tendency for lift-off oversteer. Just don't go overboard. Performance Air Filters one of the classic car tuning myths is that performance air filters will give you a significant amount of power because you'll allow your car to breathe easier. Any newbie car guy with their first car knows the experience of going to Halfords in the UK or wherever you guys go in America and buying an air filter as their first mod. In theory, this is true, but in real life, there often aren't any noticeable advantages of swapping the OEM air filter with a performance one. Messing with the air filters of modern cars can also cause problems, since current models all have finely tuned intake systems and MAF sensors for emissions purposes. If you use a less restrictive air filter, you might even get a check engine light on your dash, a lumpy idle, or even a poor throttle response. Modern engines are more finicky than engines from 50 years ago, so tampering with the airflow might actually cause more problems than it's worth. Cheap Alloy Wheels This one is important to mention, since more and more car enthusiasts are buying cheap, mostly Chinese copies of brand name alloy wheels. Yes, it is very tempting to get a set of brand new 18-inch BBS RS wheels for 400 to 500 pounds, but you shouldn't do it. There are several reasons, the first one obviously being safety. The cheap knockoff wheels are poorly built, very fragile, and will shatter to pieces if you hit a pothole. They're usually made of low-quality alloy and unknown compounds, and fit and finish is rarely great. Yes, they look good almost the same, and for show purposes they aren't enough, but experienced car fans can spot them from a mile away. There is a good reason why a set of well-preserved original 80s BBS RS wheels cost up to £2,500, because they are worth every penny. Body Kits Body kits seem like a good idea at first, until you realize what's involved. Attaching fiberglass or plastic to your car's wings, doors, hood, and bumpers will often improve the looks, although sometimes not, but it comes at a cost. Firstly, many people who choose to go with this route soon regret it when it comes to selling their car. Unlike a lot of YouTube commenters saying, add a body kit, like it's some easy task, body kits require extensive modifications to install, which often involves drilling, cutting, and welding parts to the car's structure. This means that it's often irreversible, expensive, and that's if you don't make a mistake when fitting. Before you go the body kit route, consider the massive depreciation, as well as the bondo, filler, and repainting required should you ever wish to go back to stock. Extra Loud Exhausts 
Fast cars are usually loud, as they should be. As car people, most of us love a good exhaust, but it must be said, there is a big difference between a powerful sound and a deafening racket. Fitting a loud exhaust is a writer's way of drawing attention to themselves, and if you knew a thing or two about cars, you would avoid making that mistake. Don't be that guy whose car sets off other car alarms three blocks away, or even worse, starts up a naturally aspirated straight pipe vehicle at 4am for the morning shift. Well-designed performance exhausts are readily available anyway for most cars these days. Straight pipes are usually ill-advised, however, for turbocharged engines that are naturally quieter, they can often get away with it without being too loud. For naturally aspirated stuff, just get a less restrictive muffler, delete the mid-box if it's got one, and call it a day. If that's not loud enough, fitting some less restrictive sports cats might help you as well. So, there you are. Am I right or not? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers!